Jurassic. Hey, how are you, Mayor? Welcome back to our lovely city. Always happy to be here. I brought the congressman, too. He's uh, hey, hey, Brian. Brian. Hey, how are you? Hey, Good luck with your election. Seems like it's going well. They got my favorite yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job, Thanks for all your good work. This is Greg Peterson, our president of the International Criminal Court Treaty. That's right. And that was a pretty interesting comments that he made at that mm -hmm. particular conference, mm -hmm. but I know that you are tuned in on this one. Unfortunately, we're sort of backing away from it right now, but it'll, it'll, it'll come around. I, th I think so, too. I mean, yeah. it's, it's very unfortunate, and you know, the United States has to maintain its, yeah. you know, preeminent uh, position in advocating for the rule of law, mm -hmm. no matter what else is going on. Uh, this is a work. It's the, the event that Chris Dodd spoke about with his father's right. uh, experience. This was the one we went to out in uh, St. Louis. Right. And Dodd was at the Supreme Court Historical Society a year ago in February with us also. But you can see, I mean, Greg is, mm -hmm. this is John Barrett. You may know mm -hmm. John from St. John's University. He's a part of us. Henry King, a former prosecutor. Whitney Harris, a former prosecutor. And here's Whitney. Uh, again, with uh, mm -hmm. Bud Schulberg's niece, actually, yeah. did some film work at the yeah. And here's Greg, one of the leaders of the International Criminal Court. This guy is the chief assistant mm -hmm. to the mayor of Nuremberg. All these people came to St. Louis, and we were one of the sponsors to honor, basically, Whitney, who was 93 and was a prosecutor at the trial. That is terrific. And so, <coughs> yes, we've got to get this going. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. A native of the Jamestown area here, a country lawyer that started his practice here in Jamestown, but only one of many, many people that have come out of this community. Here and the extraordinary contributions uh, to New York and America. You know, we're standing here in a center named for one of the giants of uh, American legal jurisprudence who made such contributions not only to our own country but to the world. And I was telling Greg and Raleigh that. Uh, in the last several years, as we have debated uh, what are the standards America should stand for? How do we use the rule of law, which sets us apart from other countries, that certainly distinguishes us from our enemies and our foes around the world? Time and time again, we have gone back to the writings and the example of Justice Jackson. Right out of Jamestown has come someone whose voice still speaks with clarity and conviction through the ages. And I wish that more people in Washington had heeded the wisdom that Justice Jackson has to offer to us. I'm hoping that we will reassert American values under our Constitution as an example of who we are as a nation. And when that happens, as I'm confident it will, one of the people who will be vindicated is Justice Jackson. And I am so honored to be here in this center, named for him and dedicated not only to his life, but to the work that he did and the values that he stood for.